I won't stop till I hear him say Warning. The information that we convey in these videos and the content on this page simply provides general consumer information. It is not legal advice or regulatory guidance. It is not intended to sway your personal bias in any way. We are simply just relaying information already available to the general public. We highly suggest you do your own research and draft your own opinion on the topics disclosed in this video breakdown. Without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy this video breakdown, and if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, consider doing so now. I mean, most of the people have no clue about the financial system. They have no clue what's actually going on. They are too busy with their little nine to five life. Okay, what is going on, CyberX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. In today's video breakdown, we have a lovely Casper video breakdown for you guys and all of you Casper holders out there. I know that it's been a couple of weeks since I put out a Casper video, but there is an important reason for that. There's been a lot of things cooking up behind the scenes. I'm going to show you guys the manipulation. I'm going to show you guys the FUD in today's video breakdown. We're going to also talk about a price prediction that I put out to you guys that is almost squeezed into fruition. We're going to talk about Casper price action. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, enjoy this video breakdown breakdown. We would appreciate it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel and gave this video a thumbs up. So I want to first take your attention to a tweet that we put out on September 10th, ladies and gentlemen, a month ago on Casper in 2022. And I said to you guys, Casper liquidity sweep equal highs soon at four cents. Let's see monitoring this one closely. And I sent you guys this screenshot right here. Now, granted, this was a month ago, ladies and gentlemen, again, putting our money where our mouth is at, showing you guys the proof is in the pudding via the technical analysis that we stand by here at CyberX. If anybody is interested in learning that strategy, again, ladies and gentlemen, the link is in the description down below. However, check this out, okay? We come over to the Casper charts. Now, today's date is October 12th, 2022. So we're here now a month later and you guys can see how Casper reacted once we put that tweet out to you guys. Since that tweet that we released to you guys on September 10th, 2022, Casper has returned roughly about 52%, almost coming into the four cent psychological level. So before we get into the FUD, before we get into the news manipulation that we've seen in the cryptocurrency market recently, I just wanna give you guys a Casper update, okay? What I'm personally looking for right now, we see a nasty amount of United States States dollar strength. So no, we did not get that squeeze up into four cents. However, Casper has been working behind the scenes, which is why I think that Casper has been bullish recently. With that being said, we are not going to see a massive alt season or any type of major rally in any of the cryptocurrencies. Now, I'm not saying that there can't be temporary pumps or temporary relief rallies. Okay. That's not what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about blow off tops. I'm talking about institutionalized liquidity flooding into this market. I'm talking about an alt season that we have never seen before that is utility driven. That is not happening. Ladies and gentlemen, do not get your hopes up anytime soon until this DXY strength calms down. Understand the macro perspective. Look at how strong the DXY is, and we still have room to go according to the news, according to the fundamentals, and according to the macro. I'm looking for this to potentially squeeze up into the 121 area. I will update you guys. Maybe we'll see some consolidation before we see that happen, but there is no stopping the United States dollar right now. With that being said, that means that there is going to be more temporary pain in the cryptocurrency market. Now, whether that's a depreciation from current levels and we drop lower, or whether that's we just move sideways for the time being, until we see that United States dollar weakness, ladies and gentlemen, do not get your hopes up. Now, there could be potential bullish relief rallies based off of fundamentals that potentially come out along the way. Again, people FOMOing into positions and not understanding the macro, we could see some potential relief. But Ladies and gentlemen, again, the big massive bull run, the utility run that we're all expecting, in my personal opinion, I get knocked for this all the time, isn't coming until the end of 2023 to 2024 when crypto regulation has been fully implemented into this market, the Federal Reserve pivots, the market starts to tank via the DXY strength, and we see mainstream adoption via institutionalized investors pick up, okay? With that being said, a lot of the FUD in the market right now, you guys need to make sure that you're not paying attention to. With Casper's current price action, I do see a potential pullback down into the three cent psychological level to come fill in some of these gaps here, but I still have my eyes set on that four cent psychological level to come and clear out equal highs and any sell pressure all in these equal highs here in this area from way back in June and August. 
So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, on the downside or to the downside, I'm looking to dollar cost average into Casper as long as we are below three cents. Above three cents for me personally, I've gotten into Casper every single time Casper has dropped below three cents. I'm going to continue with that strategy. With that being said, I have buy limit set for two and a half cents. Let's pay attention to Casper closely. I have some amazing fundamentals surrounding Casper that's going to correlate with the FUD that we've been experiencing in the market lately. If you guys are still here, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And again, if you don't follow us on Twitter, when we release these call outs to you guys months in advance, everybody's following this Mr. Pool guy acting like he knows how to tell the future and whatnot. Ladies and gentlemen, we give sound technical analysis here and have called out multiple price predictions. You guys can see that we are roughly only about five to 10% away from that four cent target. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, follow us on Twitter. The link is in the description down below, and that is the best way to do just that. Okay. Now let's get into the Casper fundamentals and the FUD over the market. So Interesting little tweet. This is from today, October 12, 2022, by the Casper Network. We are proud to announce that Casper is one of the top 30 smart contract platforms, according to Mazzaro Crypto Stats. Now, I like that one. That one caught my eye and is actually the reason why I'm implementing this video to you guys today without the Casper target that we called out coming into fruition completely. It's mainly because I've been seeing a lot of FUD in the market and a lot of fundamentals come into play that completely go against the FUD that's being pumped out. And I'm going to show you guys that here today. Something that's very significant about Casper for you guys as Casper holders is this tweet right here I put out to you guys. I said eight months ago, Casper was in the top 300 altcoins. Now Casper is in the top 100, ranking at number 95. I think currently today it's like number 92, um, but I'm a firm believer that in the future, this will be a historic snapshot because Casper will not be this cheap in two to five years. This is a snapshot of Casper at three cents. It could potentially go lower, but at rank number 95, I definitely see Casper ranking in the top 50 to maybe the top 25 cryptocurrency assets. And I'm going to show you guys why here today. They are deeply rooted. They're doing amazing, phenomenal things in the cryptocurrency market, tokenizing assets, things of that nature. We're going to get into that in just one second. Second, I want to first take your attention to the FUD, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to show you guys how the system works against the FUD by printing these articles to us. And the FUD is for the people that lack the ability to do their own personal research. Okay. So with that being said, I want you to keep something in mind. Why on earth is crypto unlikely to replace traditional money assets or things of that nature? Okay. If they're still working behind the scenes, doing panels, hosting conferences, hosting seminars, things of that nature, okay? It is all FUD when you see stuff like this. What I'm talking about is this article right here, an article by Company News, Newswire, crypto is unlikely to replace traditional money, Fed Bar says. We all know that this gentleman used to work at Ripple, but it says this article, because crypto assets have proved to be so volatile, they are unlikely to grow into money substitutes and become a viable means to pay for transactions. Federal Reserve Vice Chair for Supervision, Michael Barr, said on Wednesday in remarks prepared for a DC FinTech Week event, banks looking to experiment with these new technologies should do so only in controlled, limited manners. The Bank of New York, Malonen, announced on Tuesday the debut of a digital asset platform in the U.S., which selects clients using its hold and transfer Bitcoin Ether. He didn't mention any specific projects in his remarks. Barr said he was concerned about the novel risk associated with banks' involvement in crypto. He also said he believes so-called crypto stablecoins could eventually pose a risk to financial stability and that regulators need to put in guardrails before banks adopt crypto. Ladies and gentlemen, this is massive FUD. So let me show you guys why Casper Network is going to be an extreme and important player and probably one of the best layer one blockchains that you can come by. Okay, check this out. This is an article from Coindesk.com and it reads, Casper Labs has its sights set on enterprise. Manarha, the CEO and co-founder of Casper Labs, believes most current blockchain offerings are insufficient for enterprise needs. He aims to change this. Now, this article got me going down a little bit of a rabbit hole on Casper, and I'm going to show you guys that here today. Something interesting to pay attention to. Remember, I told you guys they're going to flood people out of the market, but behind the scenes, they're going to have the CFTC show up to these panels. They're going to have major people in the Congress show up to these panels to listen in on the digital revolution that is taking place to make insider decisions on what's about to happen via the regulation in the cryptocurrency market. So check this out. Institutions are coming. That's how this article starts off. Institutions are coming is a common mantra for mainstream adoption in crypto. The idea implies a huge flow of capital into the $1 trillion crypto market and the accelerated maturing of crypto as an asset class. But when institutions come, where do they go and who do they trust? Manahara, the CEO and co-founder of Casper Labs, says he knows what the institutions want. To that end, Casper Labs' appendage project, Casper Network, a layer one blockchain, already works with blue chip companies like IBM. 
This article continues. Manohar is presenting at Investing in Digital Enterprises and Assets Summit Ideas Coindesk newest event revealing the most scalable marketplaces in the digital economy that will attract institutional capital in years to come. Look at how they end that sentence right there. Casper finished testing right here. Again, key phrases and key words, key vocabulary. Casper finished testing and was launched on mainnet in March 2021, the project raised $14.5 million in 2019 from investors, including Argon, XRP Capital, hmm, interesting to say the least, and Wall Street Jack of All Trades. It's all connected, ladies and gentlemen. Can you not see it? Blockchain technology and projects built on the technology rely on two domains of expertise, finance and computer science. Conven conveniently, Monohar has a background in both. Hmm. Before starting Casper, Monohar was a principal and sector head of technology media and telecom at Sagard Capital, a hedge fund with a long only strategy worth about $1 billion. He also previously served as a private equity associate at Bain Capital in Boston and as an associate consultant at Bain and Company. Now, I used to work for a company as soon as I got out of the military that had a contract with Bain and Company, and I've been in that building in Washington, D.C. It is insane, the connections. He has a master of science degree in computer science from Carnegie Mellon University. Now, why am I reading this article to you guys again, paying attention to the FUD where they're literally saying that institutions and investors and banks should be cautious about investing in a crypto. But here we see Casper Labs coming and speaking at a conference, investing in digital enterprises and assets summit. Hmm. Okay. So who's speaking at this summit, ladies and gentlemen, this is insane. Again, look at how deep the connections go. We go down and we see who's going to be there. Who's going to be listening. Who's going to be attending. Okay. Check this out. Who do we see right here? Congressman Jim Himes. 4th District of Connecticut, United States House of Representatives. If we scroll down, who's another one? We see Don Stump, former commissioner at the CFTC. Hmm, again, but I thought that everybody was supposed to be cautious about investing in a crypto. Why are these individuals going to conferences? Why are these individuals showing up on panels? These are all questions that you should be asking yourself when you read these FUD articles. Coming over here, we also see uh, the topic tokenization of asset-backed financial instruments. This is Monohar, CEO, co-founder of Casper Labs, who's doing a presentation at this conference. With that being said, I want to take your attention to what he is talking about. He is talking about the tokenization of financial instruments, okay? Financial instrument examples, basic examples of financial instruments are checks, bond securities. They are typically three types of financial instruments, cash instruments, derivative instruments, and foreign exchange instruments. And he is going to talk at this conference about the tokenization of asset-backed financial instruments in front of an ex-CFTC commissioner and in front of a member of Congress. Do you guys see what is happening right now? Do you guys see how this is all a manipulative game to take your attention as a retail trader away from the cryptocurrency market, to fudge you out, to scare you out, to shake you out of your positions, and then for them to flip the switch behind the scenes, okay? Do you guys understand how big the financial instrument market cap is? It's massive. So this is an article from the OECD.org, and it says, blockchain and distributed ledger technology applications and finance have proliferated in recent years. The technology is now a significant feature of the fast evolving fintech landscape from payments with central bank digital currencies and fiat backed stablecoins to post trade with distributed ledger based clearing and settlement systems from unregulated crypto asset markets such as Bitcoin to the tokenization of assets with the latter now among the most prominent emerging uses for the technology. Do you do you hear that sentence? It says literally right here, the tokenization of assets with the latter now among the most prominent emerging uses for the technology. Asset tokenization, mostly theoretical just a few years ago, is now a reality with successful pilot projects around the globe. Do you guys see here how in this article, it literally says that institutions are coming and that what? Casper Labs has been tested. It says right here, Casper finished testing. Do you guys see what it, how, how it's all connecting? the FUD, but what they're doing behind the scenes is they're testing this stuff. They're utilizing it. They're implementing it into the financial ecosystem while they scare everybody in front of the curtain. Okay. Last but not least, I just want to take your attention over here to blow your mind real fast. At its inception in the mid 1980s, the non-mortgage ABS market, ABS is the asset backed securities, began with securitization of auto loans and credit card receivables. Since then, the sector has rapidly evolved into a highly diversified $1.5 trillion market, running the gamut of collateral types. Again, do your own personal research. Massive things are coming. And what do we see to correlate that with Casper? him going to a conference to speak in front of major heads of the global elites. And what is he talking about? The tokenization of asset-backed financial instruments. It's insane, again, to correlate it all together. Personally, I think that 
you guys should take it upon yourself to capture this significant historical screenshot because in the next two to five years, Casper is not going to be this cheap. This is not financial advice, ladies and gentlemen. This is just an interesting breakdown on Casper. I love the project. I am a firm believer in the future of Casper and the Casper network. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your week. As always, be cognizant, be aware, do your own personal research, and I will see you guys in the next YouTube video breakdown. Won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, da, 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 da.